Look, we've been trying to find somewhere for Geeta to go culturally. Uh, <laughs> and Nigel in Hebden Bridge thinks he can help. Hello, Nigel. Hello, Geeta. Hello. You've got to come down to the gravy wrestling on Monday. Uh, what is that? <laughs> it is the World Gravy Wrestling Championship. There we go. Got the Rosen Ball in Stacksteads. You've got 16 men, eight women. And more gravy than Tony's ever eaten in his life. <laughs> <laughs> gravy, well, you're going to have to explain gravy wrestling to me. Well, what's to explain? <laughs> <laughs> uh, go on, Nigel, go on. explain it, though. So, um, you basically, out the back of the pub, they fill an Olympic-sized swimming pool area with gravy. Oh. And two by two, in fancy dress, we all oh. get in there oh. and wrestle. Oh, my gosh. Gravy all over you. Yes. yes. Oh. And it's all for charity as well. <laughs> do do you... <laughs> I'm trying to make it more appealing to Geeta. Do you, do you sing anything from Mantovani while you're in there? <laughs> no, oh. but I, I will be coming on to Simply Red because I'm known as the Mick Hucknell of wrestling. Oh, oh. well, well, blimey. Um, well, well, it sounds What flavour is it? <laughs> well, that, that's the thing. I'm, I'm going to find out. I'm, I've been off gravy for about three weeks oh. just in case the worst comes to the worst. Is now, it vegetarian it, gravy? Well, it is. Apparently, this is the thing. The irony is uh, the, the gravy, I, I don't know if it started this way, but it's now vegan. So a little trade secret. It looks like gravy, but it's not. Uh-huh. It's, uh, oh. are, you uh-huh. allowed to, are you allowed to use a baster? <laughs> well, <laughs> that sounds painful. I'd like to say I'd like to say I'm bringing a little gravy task to proceedings. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you could get a job on this show, <laughs> Nigel. Listen, en- enjoy it. Yes, I, I will, and we'll be covering it in our podcast, Wrestling with the Champ. There oh, we go. Thanks Free for the plug. invitation. You can have that. You can have that. We'll all take stock. <laughs> oh, uh, dear. Oh, blimey. Uh, oh, you've made a gravy mistake there. Oh, oh. right. Enough. To get him off. <laughs> Cheers, Nigel. Uh, Five Live Drive. Now, I know over the weekend you were all thinking, what happened to the gravy wrestler, Nigel Franklin, who got in touch with the show, saying he was taking part in the World Gravy Wrestling Championships at the Rosen Bowl Pub in Lancashire. The 15th annual championship took place yesterday, and he sent us this voice note before getting into the ring to fight for gravy glory. It's absolutely a fact here. It's brilliant. It's an amazing atmosphere. that You can taste the gravy in the air. It's amazing. I'm due to go back in the ring in a few minutes and I'll keep you posted. But I'm down to the last eight. I'm representing five live. And I'm doing it for you. I'm doing it for Tony. Yeah, well, I've never had a gravy wrestler do it for me before, but hey, there's always a... F- he's, well, he's back on the show. Let's bring him on with his gravy wrestling walkout music. Something got me started You know that I Uh, there he is, Nigel. Hello, welcome to Drive. Hello, I'm sorry to tell you, Tony, that I didn't do it for you. Oh, for goodness sake, what a waste of time that was. <laughs> where, where, how far did you get? You got to the last eight. I did, I got to the last eight, but then disaster struck. And, and the reason why I have that uh, Simply Red music, yes. I'm known as the Mick Hucknell of wrestling, and in that round, the wig came off oh, and no. I lost my mojo. Oh, no. So, was that, <laughs> well, that's not, is that not foul play in the world of gravy wrestling? For someone well, to I, I would have thought so, but there's no VAR in this kind of thing, which is a real shame. <laughs> I thought of wearing a wig would clog you up a bit as well. Is that not a, is that not a design fault in the first place? Wouldn't it get, wouldn't it get water, gravy logged? Well, the thing is that gravy gets everywhere. Even the guys that were wearing luchador masks, it got on their eyes, it got on their ears. I know it's uh, tea time, so I'm going to leave it there, but it took a little while to get it out from everywhere. But I'll tell you one thing, Tony, gravy's a lot slippier than you would think. Well, no, and I've you... always thought it was slippy, funny. No, but I've, well, only to the finger ends, though. That's the closest I've ever got. I've looked at some... There's some great pictures, Nigel, on the BBC News website. <laughs> you can tell it's a slow news day. But <laughs> the gravy looks very, very lumpy to me. I don't want to criticise another person's work, but it just ought to be a lot of lumps in there. Yeah, well, I think I think the problem there is logistics, Tony, because you've got 2,000 litres of gravy. I don't know how many whisks you're going to need to keep that consistent. And we did have to keep... We did have to keep pausing every few rounds to skim the top off. Oh, yeah. Uh, which Ooh. is does happen, yeah. No one wants to be wrestling in skin, do they, gravy skin? Did you did you swallow much? It was custard. Well, yeah, yeah, fair play. Did, did you swallow much, Nigel? Well, the thing is, wrestling with your mouth closed is harder than you think, so a fair <laughs> bit did go in there. And, uh, yeah, but uh, for me, I'm seeing this as the equivalent of you know the Brazilians are so much better at football yes. generally. Yes. I think that's because they play football on the beach. Yeah. So I think me wrestling in gravy is only going to up my game. 
Well, absolutely. Who, who won, Nigel? So uh, there was two winners. There was uh, a, a lad called Nathan, who is a boxer by trade. Oh, so obviously he had, had a little bit of fitness in there. And then it was uh, Bavarian Bethan who won the ladies match. So they have their names go down in glory. But I'll be back next year. And I reckon, Tony, you should come with me and we'll tag team. Blimey. You don't want me standing in gravy, Nigel. There are less, there are less, well, there, there are not many uh, less pretty things to see than I can imagine. You're me, a keen swimmer. You could me, swim I could, it, I could, I could wrestle in my speedos would... in gravy. That would be, that would be all <laughs> yeah. sorts of wrong. I think. Oh, now there's you wouldn't an be image. the first one to do that. And being able to swim would come in very useful because there's it? no, there's no graceful way of getting in there at all. It's oh. just you're belly, in. It's and, a, and literally you're a belly flop. Yeah, belly flop, backflip. Anybody that tried to look cool and walked ended up going over. Uh, but I've got to say, <laughs> a big shout out to everybody who organised it and came down because I know times are hard for a lot of people, but the generosity of the people that came down raising money for East Lancashire Hospice. Yeah. And they stayed, even though the weather looked a bit dodgy, it was a brilliant day. And thanks to Jessica and all the organisers. It was amazing. Well, it's always good to raise money for a hospice. You can always rely, Nigel, on people being nuts, can't you? And that's what that's what's obviously <laughs> happened there. When you say my swimming will come in handy, I'm thinking I'd be able to swim away from the boxer. But how deep is the gravy? Um, it's it's halfway up your shin at various points. Wow, that's really deep. It up. Yeah, and uh, if you're... Uh, if you're sat, if you're stood watching near the front row, the chances are, well, don't wear white. That's all I'm no, going to say. No, if you're coming figures. to watch it next year, yeah, yeah. The, that guy, the boxer. The, 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 so there's you, Gravy Wrestling's uh, Mick Hucknell. There's B- Bavarian Bethan, and what was yeah. he called, the boxer? Uh, the Nathan, I think I want to say Nathan Kendall. So but, no uh, one picked him up on not having an image, really. Then he didn't put much effort into the uh, fancy dress. Oh well, he, he, he so his his his, his ID his, his gag was he was he was disco. He he, he had a disco. Ravy Davy, that was it. So he had a shell suit on, oh. a big wig, and a whistle. He got really he got the crowd going. So I've got to give him props for that. I didn't go up against him. I lost. I lost to an accountant of all the things to lose to. I mean, he's a great wrestler, but he's an accountant. Yeah, well, uh, it's where he sticks his pencil that matters. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is from Elaine. Hi, Tony. Here's a joke for the gravy man. The king presented me with the gravy granules. It was the highest honour he could bestow on me. Yeah. Oh, that's very good. <laughs> is it? Uh, I, I, but Other what, gravies what, are what, available. What I have been doing, Nigel, is I'm very I'm disappointed in your walk-on music because I know it's Mick Hucknell, but I thought it could have been gravy-related. Okay, so, what have we got then? I, well, uh, I'm just thinking the listeners can help us out on this, but you could have had Granule Never Walk Alone. Very good, Granule, yeah. Granule, yeah. Uh, you could have had anything by Stock Aitken and Waterman. Oh, oh that's very I good. I had two minutes to work on these. You could have had <laughs> the old Visage hit from the 80s, Fade to Gravy, uh, and the classic, which which would get everyone singing along, Bisto Through the Tulips. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, so, Tony, all I'm going to say is I've got enough gravy in my ears from yesterday. I don't need any more. No. Nigel, well, look, uh, I, I would say congratulations, but frankly, you've let the whole Drive family down. We gave you the honour of representing us and you you, you I, lost I, it. Tony, Tony it, it's on YouTube now. You can go and watch it. It's a battle for the edges. That first round, yeah. people will sing songs about this in future. It was epic. <laughs> well, yeah, Bisto through the tulips. What, uh, <laughs> who beat you, by the way, just so we get this clear? Uh, Disco Dave, oh, Disco the Dave. accountant. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I was hoping it'd be... B- you were b- beaten by the accountant. Bavarian Bedham, but... <laughs> right, well, look, uh, good luck next year, Nigel. I won't be there, but I'll be there in spirit. Uh, well, be there in gravy instead, Tony. Yeah. It's much more fun. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Nigel, see you later. Thanks, Five. We'll do it for you next year. <laughs>